friends. I am so excited to be here showing you a book. Um, I wish you were actually all together. I miss you guys a lot. Um, but this is, this is a good second. I never thought I would be on TV. Um, this book is called The Snail's Spell. It's written by Joanne Ryder and a lady named Lynn Cherry wrote the pictures. I love this book um, for so many reasons. One of which is because it's just an invitation to slow down and just enjoy life as it's happening, um, to notice the small details and to take some deep breaths. I'm gonna read the words and then I'm gonna show the pictures up really close so you can see them. Here we go. Imagine you are soft and have no bones inside you. Imagine you are gray, the color of smoke. You are shrinking. Smaller and smaller and smaller. You are two inches long, lying on the brown ground, all soft and gray. Imagine you have no arms and legs now. Imagine you cannot walk or run. Instead, you glide and you make your own smooth, sticky path to ride on. It is easy to move this way and it feels cool and good. You have a head and a mouth with rows of tiny teeth, but your teeth are on your tongue. You eat by sticking out your tongue and scraping tiny bits of lettuce into your tiny mouth. As you glide slowly on the damp brown ground, you touch everything with two short feelers. On the top of your head, you have two long feelers. You can stretch and stretch these feelers till they look like long, long horns. Your small black eyes rest at the tips of these feelers. One eye sees the brightness above. The other feeler curls around a leaf. Now you can see the darkness there. But your feeler touches something in the dark, something wriggling, someone alive. Fast as you can, you pull your feeler back you tuck your eye inside your feeler and you hide it from danger. Your eye glides down and down into your head. When you feel safe, your eye glides up and up to see your world again. You are soft and small and slow, gliding up and down and upside down. On your back lies a light curled shell. It's part of you and it grows as you grow. Whenever you want to rest, you have a place to go. First, you tuck your feelers inside your head. Then you draw your head and soft gray body inside your shell and sleep. like this snail has a little space place all of its own, built right on its back. Hope you enjoyed the book, guys. It's one of my favorites. I'm so glad to be able to share it with you. Be well. See you later.